Stop allowing narcissists to give excuses for their abusive narcissistic behaviors so that you can just accept it. Instead, look at the excuses that narcissists offer as more reason to find them unacceptable. All right, my name is Kevin and this is The Royal We. Now before I continue, I wanna let you know that I'm here for your support. Down in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. In addition to that, I have a brand new life coaching program where I teach every day, Monday through Friday. It's only $49 for the entire month. You cannot afford to miss out on this, especially those of you who are trying to start a brand new life. I know a lot of you are jumping on each and every one of these videos. You might as well get down there and work with me each and every day because they get a whole lot deeper in class than what you're getting on YouTube. All right, so head on down there. It doesn't matter when you get started, just get started. It's time to grow and heal. Let's do this, right? Now we're talking about ending the excuses that we receive from narcissists that typically cause people to just accept their abusive behavior. Now I'm gonna break this video up into two different types of excuses that we often see from narcissists. Narcissists often give us pre-excuses, meaning excuses that's going to allow them to be angry about something. And then there's post-excuses, excuses that look back on the abuse that they have done. Another way to look at this is crutches, having a crutch in life, right? How many of you know that term, having a crutch, something you lean on that kind of ignores the problem? Narcissists have a crutch for the destruction that they're going to cause. Narcissists also lean on a crutch for the destruction that they've already caused. Let's first talk about the excuses, the pre-excuses, and what you need to understand and look out for. Narcissists use pre-excuses to allow you to just accept the attitude that they are in or they're going to be in. So for example, let's say you go out and you do something that you enjoy and it gives you happiness. And so the narcissist comes unglued in a way attacking that thing that you enjoy. The excuse that they're giving you is that thing that you enjoy. I'm gonna give you a physical example. Let's say you buy something that you really like. You buy a brand new type of purse or a new type of shoe. The narcissist starts to attack that shoe. Why'd you get that shoe? It's stupid, it's ugly, it's dumb. Why do you like it? Why is this an excuse? What's an excuse for? Well, let's face it, the shoe's just an object. A shoe isn't dumb, it's just a thing. It's a thing that you like, it's an object, right? It's something that you enjoy. What's really being said here is that they don't like you. And what the shoe is, is just an excuse to attack you. I've experienced this in my own situation dealing with narcissists. I got a new iPhone, I enjoy iPhone. Big deal, it's an object, it's a phone. I had this years ago. The narcissist came up to me and they would not hesitate to walk by and say, F your phone, you think it's better, it's stupid, it's dumb, why do you like this, and on and on and on. Why? They're using it as an excuse. We call this the pre-excuse. What's an excuse for? It's the excuse that they're attacking about me because they really don't like me, but they're too coward to say we don't like you. And narcissists are coward. They walk around hating people, not things, but the things become the excuse. So start looking at it this way, and this is actually a good red flag for you to consider. Somebody who comes into your life attacking the things they like that you like, understand that it's an excuse. It's a pre-excuse. It's a crutch for their destruction. What their destruction, what their hatred, what their anger is, is of you. Because you like something that they don't. Because you're independent from them. They hate you. And so they're using that thing as an excuse. It's important to understand that. Because don't accept it. It's an unacceptable excuse. You need to be able to see right through it and say, no, no. You're not mad at this object. You don't hate the shoes, they're just shoes. You don't hate the dress, it's just a dress. What you hate is me. And I'm not gonna allow you this excuse of attacking something I like because you're too much of a coward to tell me that you don't like me. And this now helps you to understand how narcissists just will use you despite hating you and not liking you. And what allows them to use you 
is by being cowards and not telling you that they don't like you and instead attacking the things that you like. So these are pre-excuses. These are pre-crutches. They are destructive crutches that allow them to attack you without attacking you. It's attacking you by attacking something else. It's an excuse is all it is. It's saying, I don't like that iPhone. Now I have an excuse to further attack something about you because I really don't like you. Understand that huge red flag. Somebody starts knocking the things you like in life. Huge red flag. What they're telling you is they don't like you. They don't like your independence. They don't like the way you think. They don't like that you have your own thoughts and opinions and ideas. They don't like that you enjoy certain things in life. They hate that about you. So they will attack the things that you like as an excuse. All right. Now let's talk about post excuses that they use. Pre-excuses, now post-excuses. The post-crutch, the crutch after the fact. When they look back and you try to bring up to them, hey, you know, you were cruel to me, you were mean to me. Let's look at the excuses that they use to try to get you to accept what happened in the past. One of them might be, well, I was in a dark time. How many of you have heard that? I was having a dark time back then. Whatever happened a few months ago, listen, I was just in a dark time in my life. Listen, a dark time is no excuse for abusive behavior. We've all had dark times. I've had dark times. You've had dark times. Everybody has dark times. Typically in a dark time, you withdraw, you think, you, you gather your thoughts, you spend some time in isolation. Is that not what you and I have done coming out of narcissistic abuse? We withdrew, we stayed, we isolated, we thought, we contemplated, we really started to get to know ourselves. By the way, if you experience that, that loneliness, that is your dark time. These people who walk around saying, well, the reason I hurt those people, the reason I physically assaulted those people, the reason I killed, the reason I did this, because of a dark time. Wrong excuse. Furthermore, what they're trying to do is play on people's compassion. They want people to go, oh, yeah. Oh, it's so bad when you have a dark time. We understand. Wrong, it's an excuse. What are some other typical excuses that you may get from a narcissist about their past behaviors? How about alcohol? I was, uh, I was an alcoholic. It was the alcohol that caused me to do all that stuff. It was the alcohol. Wrong. Alcohol doesn't make people abusive. All alcohol does, if anything, is exaggerate what somebody already is. Alcohol is not an excuse. It's not an excuse for people to be violent. Listen, we all know people who are alcoholics. My mom was an alcoholic. Was she violent? No, never. The worst, about my, the worst thing about my mom's alcoholism is that she would pass out drunk, piss herself on the living room floor. That was the worst. Other than that, she was the type to hug and cry and try to talk to people. We all know alcoholics. Some are dancing around, laughing, acting silly. So this bit about, well, the alcohol made me an angry, violent monster, wrong. An angry, violent monster on alcohol is abusive. So don't allow people to use alcohol as an excuse. Don't allow narcissists to use alcohol as an excuse or drugs. Drugs is another one. I did drugs and it really messed my brain up. That's why I was abusive. Wrong. Drugs don't make people abusive and turn them into monsters, but monsters who are abusive taking drugs, well, now you just have somebody living their life. You have a narcissist living their life with an excuse. That's it. This is important to understand because I'm sure we've heard them all. You can go on and you can list out any other form of excuses that you've heard. Again, there's pre-excuses. Excuses that cause a narcissist or narcissists want to use to give them the right to abuse you. Such as, well, I don't like the things that you're doing. Therefore, I'm using that as an excuse to attack you. I don't like the shoes you like. I don't like the music you listen to. I don't like the phone that you have. So I'm going to use that to attack you. That's crutch number one. That's pre. That's pre-excuse. That's a pre-excuse. 
Excuse type number two that they use is the post excuse. Well, I was on drugs. Well, I was in a dark time. All of this to be said, no matter what it is, a pre-excuse or a post-excuse, it all equates to one thing. You're dealing with an abusive, narcissistic person. They're a hateful, spiteful person, and they hate you, and they just want to attack you with anything they can attack you for, and they want to get away with it, and they don't want to be called out, and they don't want the relationship to end because they got a punching bag, so they're going to excuse it any way that they can. So when you recognize those two forms of excuses, know what you're dealing with. The moment somebody's attacking something you like, know what you're dealing with. The moment you come across somebody who says, oh, in my past life I did this because I had a dark time, know what you're dealing with. Know what you do in your dark time and compare that to what this person's saying about their dark time and that's how you know you're messing with the wrong type of person for you. Listen. I want to let you know and remind you that I'm here for your support through this. Down in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. And like I said, I do have a new life coaching program where I teach every day, Monday through Friday, live with questions and answers. You cannot afford to miss out on it. Only $49 for the entire month. So head on down there and get started. All right. I look forward to seeing you in class and I'll be back with more videos for you right here on the Royal We. Oh, until I'm back, watch this video. YouTube is suggesting this video for you. I think you should watch it. If YouTube recommends it, I'm gonna stand by that recommendation, all right? Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye.